Hello guys and good morning. It is a Monday morning. Today is President's Day so Brinley does not have school. I actually tried to start this vlog last week on Valentine's Day and that day was kind of chaotic so I literally ended up finishing the vlog so I can put the footage in here of showing the kids their Valentine's Day baskets and all that. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is bright and early on a Tuesday, no Wednesday morning. Um, it is Valentine's Day and Brinley's already awake. Steven came home. He went to the 6 a.m. gym just to come home and bring us coffee, donuts, and roses. So nice. Rowan just woke up, so we're about to give them their baskets. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, honey. Hi. Brinley, look. Turn around. What? Is that? What is that? Mommy! Let's see, let's see, let's see. My bear! Aww! More candy? Mm. Oh, what? Atlas Reed, your first Valentine's! Yeah, your first Valentine's Day! It was super cute. It was so cute having three baskets. I just, I don't know. I can't believe I have three kids. It's awesome. So we are on our way to the gym this morning. And it's nice because a lot of Brinley's schoolmates in her class go to the gym as well. So it's a play date for the kids as well. Um, I made it out of the gym. It was a good workout. I'm so glad I went. Now that I'm back in it, I hate missing Mondays. I just hate leg day, but we made it to the park now. I am currently feeding Atlas because it's 10, 20, and he's usually hungry between 10 and 10:30. So I'm he feeding him now. The kids are at back there having their snack, and then we're gonna um, get out and go to the playground for a bit. And then I gotta go home because I have some meal prepping to do. I did get my Target drive up. Because there's no school in our county, the playground is kind of packed, but it's okay. We still need to get these kids' energies out. I ended up going to the playground like I said and then I ended up going to Aldi because I wanted to try certain things and I was like should I show or not I'm like you know what I'm just gonna go so I went with the three kids they're really good I gave them a pep talk if I want them to be excellent I have to give them a pep top pep talk before I get out of the car and then they like it's in the forefront of their head to just be well behaved but um, they're getting hungry, so I'm gonna make them some lunch, but first I want to show you what I got um, from Aldi I got these fruit strips. This is the main reason why I went there my friend Cheyenne We had a play date at the park a few weeks ago And she had these and she gave them to the kids and apparently they're really good And they have pretty good ingredients and the sweeteners are like natural sweeteners like carrots and cabbage So yeah, I heard they're really good So I got those for the kids and there's 21 of them, which is nice this probably is not good for you But Steven is like I need something that's water but not water so i got him these they're probably i know they're probably not the best but i'm like whatever you can try and put them in your water and they give you some electrolytes this i was just so intrigued about i'm like i've never seen this it's called protein 20 plus energy and i am just so confused about this drink but i really want to try it i was just intrigued because it's like a juicy drink but it has 15 grams of protein whey protein inside the drink and then it has 125 milligrams of caffeine so it's like a celsius which i know these aren't good for you but this has less caffeine in it and it, you get 15 grams of protein i don't know i am so intrigued about this so i got two of them so steve and i can try them i got some english muffins for steven because he makes like a breakfast sandwich with that and then i got these um peanut butter pretzels for steven and then these for the kids and then from target i just got this this some body wash for Atlas. I got some chocolate chips for my banana bread that I'm going to be making. Some bananas, Okios yogurt. This is just, my, I always have to have this at the house. 
some oat milk for coffee, some Cheerios. That is everything I got. Now I'm gonna make some lunch. They're hungry, so I'm gonna give them something separate for now, but I need to, I have so much to do. I have to prep chicken, shredded chicken for the week, and then I also have to make the turkey skillet. I'm gonna leave the link to that recipe down in the description box because it is just like our all-time favorite. It's high protein, it's really good for you. It's from Skinny Taste, I believe. And then I want to make some banana bread because I have some bananas that are going bad. So that's what's on the list right now. That's for tomorrow, honey. What? Try it. No, it's good, right? Oh, yummy. Get some Ziploc bags. I'll do that later. Wow. I'm gonna put this away later. Guys, do you wanna try these? Mm. Here, take it out. Remember Lee had these and Vivian? They're cute, right? They smell good. Okay, you gotta eat it. still the kids are eating outside um in the little picnic table behind that window right there and i've been still in the kitchen since the last clip for like the last hour but i did some eggs i need to get more eggs or else i would do more but i want to save them for breakfast but usually i do like a dozen eggs i meal prep them have them in the fridge and my turkey skillet is now done too i love having this on hand and then in the crock pot i have shredded chicken Atlas just woke up and I just fed him. His favorite time to um, do blowouts is when he's feeding. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys, I don't remember Rowan or Brindley ever doing that, but every time he feeds, he gets a blowout. It's just so funny. He like, it like, he drinks it and it comes right out of him. I wanted to give you guys a little update on Atlas because I feel like it's been a hot minute. Yesterday he turned three months. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna have my handle here. Posted his three month photos on there yesterday. Are you smiling? Oh my gosh, guys, he is just the sweetest little ding. Are you smiling? You say hi. Hi. Yeah, you say hi. Oh, tickle, tickle. Oh, tickle, tickle. But um, a little three month update for Mr. Atlas Reed. He eats every three hours still. He's been eating every three hours mostly since he's been like at least a month old um which is nice because it's more predictable he does not sleep through the night he wakes up at least two to three times at night he rolls from belly to back but he is my baby that least likes tummy time he will cry from the moment you put him on his tummy i would say he's a very easy baby so far if he's fed and he's not overtired he's super chill he is my happiest baby by far me and steven are like we do not remember Rowan or Brinley being this smiley he is just so smiley so sweet and like he just lights up if you talk to him he is just like smiling from ear to ear I am literally obsessed with him I just stare at him all day like I need 50 of him he is just like the best thing that's ever happened to our family he brings us joy and he makes us all so happy like nobody in this family walks by him without stopping and giving him hug kiss interacting with him rowan and brinley included obviously they are just all in love with him and he's just like the best thing ever like we are obsessed <gasps> isn't that right he has brown eyes and brown hair but don't be confused he is my fairest baby yeah you are so white he is my fairest baby out of all three. On the baby Bjorn, Bjorn or whatever, he has a little toy bar and he like literally rolls the toy, which is so cute. And he's also cooing a lot more. Oh, I love him. But anyways, that is my three month update. I can't think of anything else. He's just awesome and perfect, perfect, perfect. So, so perfect. So, so perfect. I am now showered. Mr. Atlas Reed was in here. We're just chilling while mama's showering. Isn't that right? Yeah. 
You're getting sleepy a little bit, huh? I forgot to mention his wake windows are still an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. I love you. You're this thing in the world. Oh my gosh. But I got in my comfy cozies. This is literally my attire 90% of the time. I don't know about you guys, but every time I shower, I always have to put on deodorant and perfume and face moisturizer. Even if it's a nighttime shower and I'm going straight to bed, I have to put on per perfume and deodorant. Steven has always thought that's super weird. Speaking of perfume, you guys know what time it is. It is Dossier, that time of the month. They sent me my three new scents. If you guys haven't heard of Dossier, they are a fragrance online shop where you can shop so many different fragrances. A lot of them are inspired by designer brands that you guys have already heard of and they also have some originals as well. It's just perfect because if you guys love the designer perfume you can get these perfumes that smell identical to it for literally a fraction of the price but i just got three new ones these are so nice they come shipped and they send you straight to your door they source all of their scents from grass france which is the perfume capital of the world and the best part is that their scents are made from clean ingredients they are cruelty free vegan free UV filter free, colorant free, so you're putting on good things on your body. The first one that they sent me is Floral Lavender. It is inspired by YSL's Libre. This one has musk to it, so it's almost like amber vanilla, but also like cologne -y. so it's like not masculine, but like an outdoor sweetness to it, if that makes sense. This will smell identical to YSL Libre, and this is only $29, and the YSL one is $95. So you're literally getting it for a fraction of the price. The next one I got, I got for Steven. He loves that I'm adding to his collection. This is Musky Oak Moss. It is inspired by Creed. I know that is a super popular scent. Atlas is having the time of his life back here. I already had him smell this one, and it says it's Musk, Oak Moss, and Amber. So it's very deep, but it's also like, I don't know, it kind of has like a lightness to it. It's like masculine, but also like fresh. The last one I got is Floral Honeysuckle, and this one is inspired by Gucci Bloom. And I know Gucci has such good scents. And this one is very unique. I don't have one like this. It's sandalwood, which I know is super popular, and vanilla. I have to have vanilla, and it smells like sweet, but like a plant. But I am so excited to add all of these in my collection. I have a link to all these scents down in the description if you guys want to check them out. It smells nice in this bathroom. I am going to swaddle Atlas, put him down for a nap, and then I am going to attempt to make banana bread. Rowan is also down for a nap, and Brinley is watching a little show. She's watching Bluey. fell asleep i'm not gonna talk super loud because i do not want him to wake up but um i'm now gonna make myself lunch and i want to show you guys i did the turkey skillet and then i just added a avocado and shredded cheese and that is gonna be my lunch it is so good but since atlas is sleeping and rowan is still sleeping i'm gonna eat my lunch and i'm gonna watch Love is Blind because the new season just came out and I've already watched two or three episodes yesterday so I'm like I want to squeeze in one more before the boys wake up. Three hours later it is now 4 12. Steven is about to leave to the gym. Atlas is still sleeping in our room and I'm now making a banana bread because we have three bananas that are going to go bad so we are going to beat this now and hopefully this recipe is good because I feel like I can never find a good banana bread recipe is that cool yeah now we got a whole crowd here we got rowan mashing the bananas brinley are you gonna help me yeah yeah okay dump it good job Mama, I don't. okay baby you'll have a turn thanks to my wonderful helpers we got banana bread in the oven now i'm gonna make some protein balls but first i gotta clean up the behind the scenes of this which is Insanity when you let two young kids help you bake. Atlas just woke up, but next on the list is protein balls. I make these every Monday as well. It's a nice little treat at the end of the night when you're craving something yummy. He is gonna eat, so 
I'm gonna feed him and then I have all the stuff for the protein balls prepped behind me. I fed him now the baby Bjorn or Bjorn, I still don't know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna first focus on dinner because it's five o'clock and I need the chicken to marinate and then I'll do the protein balls after. <laughs> are done now I just have to put them in the fridge to harden them I have the potatoes prepped for dinner I just took out the banana bread and it smells so stinking good and then I just shredded the chicken now I'm going to put this all away and get dinner started dinner is now served is it yummy yeah, yummy. Oh, ew what do you mean ew you stinky boy it's yummy Okay, we're gonna eat now and Steven's back from the gym and he's trying to put Atlas to sleep and he's not gonna eat now because he's going to basketball soon. So, I have a babysitter while I eat. Thank you. Are you a parent? <laughs> yeah, a, a parent. I like that, I like that. So I married you, honey. Found it. I love you, yeah. Get your stinky toes in there. That is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching again. Don't forget to check out Dossier down in the description. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!